animals make great subjects and their expressions are often comically human. In fact, you'll get the best shots if you think of them as animal portraits and use the same techniques you would for photographing people. Animals don't quite behave in the same way, of course. You can't ask them to sit still or hold a pose. They often move quickly and unpredictably, so you'll need to react quickly to get the best shots. And you'll need to pay attention to the camera settings so that it can react quickly too. Don't worry too much about the exposure and white balance. There often won't be time to fuss over details like these, so set your camera to raw mode before you start so that you can make minor adjustments later if they prove necessary. We've set our D300S to P mode so that it will take care of the shutter speed and lens aperture automatically. And we'll set the white balance to auto. This means that if we move indoors, it should adapt to the change in the color of the lighting automatically. Outside, the light should be good enough for high shutter speeds and sharp shots, but indoors the light level may be quite low. Just to play safe, we'll use our camera's auto ISO feature. To do this, open the shooting menu and then the ISO sensitivity option. When you set the auto ISO sensitivity control to one, you can set the maximum sensitivity you want the camera to go to and the minimum shutter speed you want it to use. And the camera will then take care of everything. Outside, in good light, it'll use a low ISO for best quality, but indoors, it will increase the ISO as much as it needs to in order to maintain our minimum shutter speed. Now you could start shooting straight away, but pretty soon you'll realize that animals can move quickly and unpredictably, and it's hard to keep them in focus. So here's a way to set up your camera's autofocus so that it's more likely to keep up. First, we'll set our D300S to continuous shooting mode. This way, we can shoot two or three frames at a time to improve our chances of getting the perfect picture. Now, set the autofocus mode to continuous or AFC mode. This means that if you keep the shutter button half pressed, the camera will keep refocusing all the time and it will fire as soon as you press it the rest of the way. You can now time your shots to the split second without having to wait for the camera's autofocus to catch up. Finally, set the AF area mode to Auto Area AF. In this mode, the camera checks all its focus points and automatically selects objects nearest the camera. Okay, so now we really are ready to start shooting. So here are some tips on how to compose great looking animal portraits. We're using a standard 18 to 105 mm kit lens and we'll start by setting it to its maximum focal length. This will give your animal's faces the most natural looking perspective. We use the same technique when shooting human subjects. The longer focal length will also make the background larger in the frame, which gives you much more control over the composition. With a wide angle shot, it's hard to avoid fussy, distracting backgrounds full of people, buildings and other bits and pieces. But if you zoom in and choose your position carefully, you can place your subject against a part of a wall a patch of grass, the sky, or some other neutral background. Longer focal lengths also tend to blur the background and make your animal subject stand out more clearly. When you've got some good animal portraits in a bag, you could try getting experimental. If you have a super wide angle zoom, like this Tokina 12 to 24 mm, turn it to its widest setting and get as close to your animals as you can. The closer their snouts get to the lens, the more extreme and comical the perspective. Though you'd better bring some lens wipes, just in case some of your encounters are a bit closer than you intended. Finally, when you stop for lunch, spare a thought for the animals. Most animal centers will sell bags of food for each type of animal and their particular dietary needs. A bag of food is a surefire way to capture your subject's interest and keep them occupied. Just watch your fingers.